Right now, you're seeing, with all the things around me, the best live streaming platform for Mac. But it doesn't just go live. You can record with this thing too. And I'm gonna show you a number of different things to take your production level on both lives and recordings to an electric level. Just wanted to use that effect. But most of all, I'm here to show you a number of different things that you can do with this thing because it is actually the best all-in-one video studio. Here's a list of the most important things that it can do. So if any of these things are on your list, well, let me show you how it's done. And it's a pretty good list, so let's get started. Starting in 2020, I went live every single day for an entire year. And since then, I've been addicted to going live for an audience. Whether it's talking business and entrepreneurship, answering questions for people like you. When a person finds the video, they don't have to struggle to consume your content. Or I'm going live in front of thousands, opening Pokemon cards and giving them away. <laughs> Dude, no way. Out of Crimson Haze. This box had a trainer and a secret rare. Ecamm Live is the tool of choice. I've been using it for everything. Okay, we're back with all the tools around me. Now, if you wanna get Ecamm Live, use the link below. That's my affiliate link. I get a little kickback from the company if you end up using it. To go live, I'm gonna click on this new button down here, and you'll see that I'll be able to add a number of different destinations that I already have set up. But to add a new destination, I'm gonna click here and check this out. You can go live on Facebook, on YouTube, on X, on LinkedIn, on Twitch, Amazon, Instagram, and you can use this stream key to stream pretty much anywhere. You can even use Restream.io, Switchboard Live, or OneStream, and they're always adding more destinations too. If I wanted to, I could stream on my Pat Flynn YouTube channel and even Pat Flynn on Instagram at the same time. And if I just wanted to go live right now, I could, but I'm not. The other way to go live is to actually set up a live stream beforehand. This is the way that I do it on YouTube. I'll set up a YouTube Live, schedule it for the future, and because my account is connected here, you'll see I can even see one right here. It's in eight days. One destination, the Pat Flynn YouTube channel where I'm gonna be streaming about email marketing. If I click here on upcoming, you'll see that it's on April 11th at 1 p.m. And by the time that happens, all I have to do is come here and go live once the timer hits zero. Now, let's say you didn't wanna go live, but you still wanted to use the awesome tools and resources that Ecamm Live has to offer you when recording a video like switching camera angles, or perhaps adding an overlay, like Psyduck, an animated GIF even. Well, that's the cool thing about Ecamm Live. You can use this to actually help you produce your videos as you create them, so now I don't have to edit those things in later. Maybe I wanna share what I'm doing on the internet and do a little tutorial on Canva, and maybe I wanna pop up in the bottom every once in a while, just like this. I'm just clicking a button just like this. By the way, I know you saw me clicking this thing over here to initiate some of that stuff. You don't need this thing in order to do that, but I'm gonna show you what this thing is at the very end because this is an awesome, probably the most helpful thing that I can have when live streaming. It's called the Elgato Stream Deck, and I'll show you a little bit of how it works. But more than that, what if I wanted to show you the website, Ecamm Live, and remind you about how awesome it is, and also remind you that they have an upcoming event it's called Leap Into Tools and Tactics happening April 24th to 26th. Uh, these are all about tactics and tools to help you streamline your creative workflow. And it's absolutely free. You can get your ticket for free. You can upgrade for a replay pass and a guide if you'd like. But a lot of streamers, podcasters, YouTubers galore. And uh, I definitely recommend you RSVP and check it out. Head on over to leap.ecam.com to go and get your ticket for that. Okay, so how do you actually record using Ecamm Live? We'll look up there. I'm gonna click on this down arrow and you'll see that stream, record, and virtual cam are enabled. Yes, you can do all three of those at the same time. What is virtual cam? Well, that's very important and I'm gonna talk about it later. I'm gonna turn it off for now and I'm gonna turn off stream and now you see the go live button just change to record and we're gonna actually record a quick little video right now. Hey, Pat Flynn here using multiple camera angles in the same recording and I'm also gonna go bam, zap you with some electricity and Psyduck is here and we'll push him away, peace out. All right, anyway, I'm gonna hit finish, end recording, and I'm gonna show file, and it just saves it right to the destination you want. I have it saved in a Ecamm Live recording folder, and I'm gonna open this with QuickTime, and let's hit play and watch it. Hey, Pat Flynn here, using multiple camera angles in the same recording, and I'm also gonna go bam, zap you with some electricity, and Psyduck is here, and we'll push him away, peace out. All right, anyway, I'm gonna hit finish, 
So yeah, super great for recording video. And obviously if you're recording an audio podcast, you can just rip out the audio from the recordings that you do. Now, a big question I get is whether you're doing audio or video, can you tap in guests into Ecamm Live? Can you invite guests onto here to record a podcast or even go live with them? And thankfully the answer is yes. And it's very simple. Here's what you do. You just click on this interview button here with the people on it. You turn interview on and it'll give you a link here at the bottom. It's blurred because this is my link and I don't want you to know what it is. But when you give that person a link, here's what it looks like on the other end. This is the website they go to. This is the person I'm gonna be interviewing. They get the link, they set up their camera, they type in their name, and then they hit join. And watch what happens on my end. Mario Pikachu is joining, so I'll let them in. And now they're in the back room. So they are not live on stream yet, if in fact I were live right now, or they're not even in the recording yet. I have to add them in, but they can hear and see what I'm saying here. Really simple, if I want to add them into the stream and or the recording, I'm gonna hit, uh, let's hit add right, and you'll see them pop up right in the main screen, just like that. Now I'm interviewing Mario Pikachu. What's up, Mario Pikachu? How are you? Hey, what's up, homie? Now, let's say I wanted him to be on the lower left-hand corner. I can obviously move this wherever I'd like, but I just hit this little swap screen, kind of lower insert, I don't know what it's called, but you could see the button I'm hovering right now. If I click that again, it's back here. I can hit add left. And what's really cool is the more guests that come in, the more I can kind of configure them either on the fly or before I hit record or what have you. If my guest happens to be telling a long story or featured, I'm gonna hit solo so that it is only them on right now. And I'm gonna go back to me solo and then Mario Pikachu to the right. I'm gonna say goodbye yeah, yo, and I'm going Pat, to love. click the X button to let them go. And now it's just me again. Here's what it looks like on Mario's end. He could reconnect if he wanted to, but that's what it looks like to do an interview with somebody. And you can have up to 10 people in the room at the same time. That is wild. So again, whether you're recording or broadcasting that, that's money. Okay, now you're seeing two of me. Now, this is a Zoom version of me, and this is me on Ecamm Live. Now, the quality is different because I'm using different cameras. On Zoom here, you can see, if I go here, it is the FaceTime camera on my MacBook right in front of me. This camera here is my CamLink camera, which is connected to my Canon EOS R. Now, I'm gonna change this one to the CamLink 4K, so now you can see they're both the same. However, if I do some of my fancy stuff here in Ecamm, like switch camera angles or add some of those cool effects like I was doing earlier, it obviously does not show up here on Zoom. However, this is where the virtual cam comes into play. So I'm gonna go over here inside of Ecamm and then hit virtual cam. Now what this does, you'll see a little camera here. This enables Ecamm to act like a new camera input for wherever we're at, whether it's Discord or Zoom or any other program or most programs at least. So now we're gonna go here and hit my camera and you can see now it says Ecamm Live Virtual Cam. That was not there before. So when I hit this, nothing changed, but watch this. I don't know if that looked good, but you get the idea. Now it's a webcam and I can use Ecamm and I can even use this to go to websites and put me in the corner like this. Now it matches what's happening on Ecamm. So imagine you are on a Zoom call and you are impressing your boss or you're hanging out with your friends. You wanna do some cool effects or whatever the case may be. Ecamm can now act through the virtual cam, which is again here. And yes, you can do it whilst recording, whilst streaming. I've never used Walst that much in my life, but whilst you're here, I hope that you hit that like button and subscribe because I'm definitely gonna be going into more detail about how to use this tool in much more advanced ways in the future. Oh, look at that. It's daytime now. Next, let's talk about scenes. Scenes are different arrangements that you can set up ahead of time so that you can determine what you want people to see on camera, whether it's a recording or a live stream. Scenes are what allow me to switch back and forth between camera angles really quickly with a push of a button. Yes, I could switch cameras by going here on the screen like you see right now, clicking this one and this one, but now I'm just choosing which camera I want connected to the scene 
Which scene is this? This is me full. Don't ask my wife what I'm full of. This scene over here called side view. I wonder what happens when I push this run scene button. Yes, so that's how I set it up. And I just named that side view myself. If I have all kinds of different cameras, I can give each one a different name. It could just be camera one, camera two, camera three, and set up different scenes for them so that I can just simply push this run scene button to run that scene or a button that I connect on my stream deck. This is a scene with a single camera. And this is a scene with a different single camera. Here's a scene sharing my computer screen with me in the corner here. Here's a scene set up for an interview. When a person calls in, I just have to assign them guest number one and just go to the scene. And here's a scene that just actually plays a movie. Yes, a scene can just be a preloaded movie. I can even pop up on the screen to comment on it. To loop or not loop, I can determine that here on the bottom here when that video is playing. And again, if this was live, people would see this. And up here, I can choose the movie and just connect it to the individual scene. So yeah, super easy. And to set up a new scene, I'm just gonna go here to the plus symbol in the scenes window. If I don't see the scenes window, go to scene and say show scenes window. I'm gonna hit plus, new scene for a demo. And I'm just gonna select the main camera here. And I'm also going to add a second camera with the plus symbol. Let's also add a guest in here as well. And now we have this set up. I'm just, if I want this set up, just go to the scene. It's as easy as that. Next, let's talk about overlays, a way to add some flavor, some decoration to your live streams. Maybe it's a call to action for an offer that you have, or simply just a way to add some fun to a stream. Maybe it's a frame around a camera or some branding in the corner. And overlays are very simple. In fact, drag and drop simple. So I'm gonna drag and drop this Spider-Man meme on here. It takes up the full screen, but I can drag the corners in to make it fit a little bit better. I can figure out where I wanna put it on the screen. And to turn it on and off in the overlays window, just hit the eyeball there. Now again, you can trigger that with your stream deck, which I'll show you right after this. If you are missing the overlays window, go to overlay, show overlays window, or hit the overlays shortcut button here on the upper right-hand corner, and you're good to go. So now I can make it look like a, a news thing. Today in the news, Spider-Man found himself a friend. Here's another overlay that was previously added. I'll turn that on and you can see it adds my SPI branding up there in the upper right-hand corner. I also have within the show in all scenes, meaning no matter what scene I choose, these will be available, uh, things like a uh, confetti explosion. Yay! That is simply a transparent movie or a movie with an alpha background. I have a call to action thing that plays right here. And so yeah, you can play movies as overlays as well. And all you have to worry about is this window over here. If I wanna add an overlay here, great. If I wanna add an animated overlay, great. If I wanna add text, text can be an overlay as well. I'll show that to you really quick. So I'm gonna hit new dynamic text overlay. Dynamic text just means that it moves with the size of the window. So I'm gonna say, hello world, add, and you'll see it right here. So I'm going to stretch this out. And now hello world, is in fact an overlay here as well. So you can obviously place things where you want, have multiple overlays, as many as you'd like, it can get insane, but here's the trick to all of this. Let me remove this. Um, sometimes less is more. It's easy to go overboard with this because of how easy it is. So just keep it clean, less is more. Now, a lot of the quickness between switching scenes and going into overlays is a result of this tool right here. This piece of hardware is the best thing ever. It's the Stream Deck by Elgato. And if I push a button here like this one, which I've assigned to the side view, you know what happens. Boom, we're here. Now I'm gonna click uh, Psyduck. There he is, click him again, turns off, super easy. This comes in a 32 button size or a 16 and I think an eight, maybe even a four, but you can create folders in them as well. So you can have like an unlimited amount of things and you can create other hotkeys for other things on your computer too. It's really versatile and I'll add a link in the description, but I'm gonna show you how this connects to Ecamm Live. In my toolbar up here on my computer, I have this symbol right here. If I click on this, this is for Stream Deck and I'm gonna configure my Stream Deck. Now I own a couple Stream Decks, so you'll see a few different devices, but each device can have a different number of profiles as well. This one, you'll see the same buttons that you saw just a second ago, main, side view, etc. To set a button, I'm gonna go to this corner one. I'm gonna scroll down and after you integrate Ecamm Live, I'm gonna go to show or hide overlay, just drag and drop that on there. And let's show the Spider-Man one. So now that's on the upper right-hand corner. Look at that, right there, Spider-Man in the upper left-hand corner, overlay. 
If I wanted to add a scene, I'm gonna drag a run scene over to this empty slot in the top row and select that uh, new scene that we created earlier. I'm also gonna name it new scene. You can add any new, uh, any name that you want. And now if I were to show you my stream deck, you should see right there, it says new scene. So I'm gonna click on that and that should be the one that had uh, the three of us on it. Boom. There we go. I absolutely love Ecamm Live and all the things that it does for me for both recording and streaming. Paflin.com slash Ecamm. Check it out. Check out their event as well. All the links for the Stream Deck, Ecamm Live, their event is down in the description. Thanks so much. Be sure to sub because we're going to go deeper into this. I promise you.